And I've hated that ever since I put that toolbox in. That's gotta get fixed. Now like most trucks, my truck has tie downs in each corner of the bed. So you can tie your loads down, make sure stuff doesn't fly out, make sure stuff doesn't slide around, keep everything nice and secure. Well, the problem being is once I put this toolbox in, I can't reach those tie downs back there in the corners. I almost have to lay down on the bed to hook a tie down strap onto that tie down hook. Well, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna make that tie down hook back there completely accessible without fighting with it. This should be a pretty quick and easy install. So I'll try and make the video short and sweet so you don't spend more time watching the video than you do actually installing this hack on your truck. You'll need some chain. I'd suggest something fairly heavy duty. This chain's rated at 1,250 pounds, working load, I believe. You know, working load limit, 1,250 pounds. If you're tying down more than that, you're probably gonna have to look at where your tie downs are attached to your truck. Get some chain, a tape measure to measure the length of the chain you need, a couple little I don't know what you call these little hooks, carabiners, whatever you want to call them, to hook your chain to the tie down, and something to cut your chain with. In my case, it's a set of bolt cutters, use a cutoff wheel, however you want to do it. Let's measure the length of chain we need to make this work. So we're going to measure from the tie down, roughly from the tie down, to the bolt that holds your toolbox in place to get a rough length. Now you don't want to cut that chain exactly length. You want to cut it, I'd say about maybe five inches longer, six inches longer. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go six inches longer. And that's gonna put it at this length right here. Cut two of these, one for each side. Hook your chain on there, hook that in there, tighten it up. So there's two main ways toolboxes are held down to the bed of trucks. One is a J-bolt. The J-bolt will come out of the toolbox right in this area right here. It'll come down, hook underneath the pinch weld, you tighten the top of it down inside your toolbox and it snugs it up against the pinch weld here. That holds it in place. If you've got the J-bolts, simply loosen this back one up, put your chain on the J-bolt and tighten it all back up to hold it in place. The other way is a nut and bolt method, which is gonna drill through the toolbox, through your upper bed rail, and you're gonna put a nut and bolt on to hold it in place. Now my truck has a nut and bolt method. It's got long bolts long enough that I can just add the chain to the bottom of that bolt, another nut and washer, tighten it up, and it'll hold it in place. There's a couple things you want to pay attention to when you're building this. Number one, your tie down hooks fit through your chain. You don't want to just loop it on your chain, you want to put it through a link. That way it pulls on that back tie down. Pay attention to your angle so you're not pulling down on the mount to your toolbox. Now different size tie downs, these thin tie downs, have smaller hooks. Now, the bigger size tie downs have bigger steel hooks. This one barely fits through that chain and it only fits through because the plastic is worn off. 
one way you can get around this is if you grab another one of those attachment links you can put it through a link of this chain and that'll give you a bigger place to attach to another thing you're going to notice is this chain it's going to clank against the side of the bed it's going to rub on the paint possibly cause it to rust what you can do to prevent that is to get a piece of hose that'll fit over the chain cut a little piece so it just fits down there in the bottom and it'll stop it from rubbing and clanking up against the side of your bed simple things that make life easy. I don't have any rubber hose right now, but I'm going to be sure and pick some up to keep that chain from rubbing the paint off my bed. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button and a little bell for notifications. There's plenty more of these videos coming out. Until next time, guys, go make something. <laughs> so easy.